doing to score that many goals in a game? We're just moving the ball and changing the angles. And uh, when you change the angles, you make the defense move and you read how the defense is moving or not. And then ultimately it opens up a hole. And uh, that's why we have so many people scoring. We, we talked about that balance after the Rutgers game. Yeah. Again today, five goals, five different people. Uh -huh. How is how is that balance helping you or going to help you later in the season? Uh, like I said yesterday or the day before, I think it just makes us a difficult team to play because it's not we're getting the ball to one person and relying on one person to carry our offense. We're um, moving the ball, we're reading an opposing team's defense, and then um, we're creating our attack off of what the reads are that our kids are seeing out in the field. Your defense also played well today. Um, shut out from Stiver. Yeah. And... I think they only had three or four shots on goal right. all game. What is the defense doing to prevent shots on goal? Um, they're just stepping up and they're playing more aggressive and they're staying together more. We, we got ourselves stretched out a little bit um, earlier in the season and we worked really hard at practice yesterday on defense and we're going to continue to work on that for uh, next week. It's a big focus for us. A little bit of a slow start again today, no goals in the uh -huh. first half, but then you're bringing a lot of energy in the second half, right. scoring a lot of goals. Uh -huh. What is it about the second half that just the team turns on it's not the second half versus the first half it's you know these teams are everybody's behind the ball and it's the defenses that we're facing and as I said on Friday it takes a little while for us to be able to read how the team is defending us and once we get that read going we can figure out how to open it up it's um, very hard when you have 11 people of the opposing team behind the ball you've got to look and find your spaces to attack and it takes, you know, it's been taking us 35 minutes to figure that out. Is is the ability to score goals, though, is that, how are you happy with the ability to score goals late in games? Yeah, I'm happy when we score goals any time in a game. I could care less if it's late or early. <laughs> as I said, as long as we have one more than our opponent, um, that's what I'm happy with. It turned out to be the game-winning goal today, that first goal off the penalty shot. What did you... Steve. It extended your record as well. How are you, your whole team scoring goals, how do you feel about the team's mentality right now? Uh, it's incredible. Um, it's good to have a lot of players that score. It's good to to win a game by uh, such a difference, like especially against Princeton. We've been losing against them for the past three years, so winning against them feels amazing. You start off a bit, well, obviously a slow start, no goals in the first, and then it took a while to score in the second half. What do you have to do differently for this team to score earlier in games? Um, we have to start hard from the very beginning. Uh, we don't have to doubt ourselves. We just have to go there and with a with a sharper mentality, just get the first goal earlier, and so more will come after the first one, of course. And we talked about your motto earlier in the week: the uh, own the ocean. Mm -hmm. Did you see that today, or? Well, did you think it affected the team? How does the team react to that motto? No, yeah, definitely. We're all very excited to be out here, and uh, we own the ocean today, so uh, it's a good outcome for us. We just have to keep running from this and learn that we have to score sooner and and get possession of the game from the very beginning. And have you had a chance now with a few days to think about it, to think about you overtaking the point total uh, against Rutgers on Friday? If I thought about that? Yeah, have you thought about it all more? No, not at all. No, not at all. No, just, again, uh, that's not important. What's important now is the team and to get to take a step farther towards our, our dream. So it's not really important, personal records. Just come. Two games at home, your first two game series at home. How does it feel to get these two wins in front of the home crowd? Um, it's awesome, especially since our opening weekend, or it's, not, it's our second opening weekend. But um, it's great to be home and have a fan base and just come out with big numbers for the wins. How did the team, the team started slow. How does the team kind of change that in the future? How does it get up to a faster start? Um, we just have to be a little smarter with our uh, game plans, and it takes us a bit to it takes us a bit too long to figure out what structures they're playing. We just gotta smarten up a little bit more, and then we'll be able to attack at a faster rate. You had a shutout today. Yep. The team, you only let up one goal on against Rutgers, and the team's only given up four goals in the last four games combined. How? What are you doing to? Keep goals, prevent goals. Um, well, it's basically all mindset. We're here to be in the top three. We want to be a. We want to win the national championship. So in order to do that, we have to be averaging less than one goal a game. So as long as we're keeping that up, um, we're on the right track. So I'm doing my best to keep them out. And the defense played really well today. What were the girls doing around you to prevent shots on goal? I think there was only three Princeton had today. We did really well with our communication, which is great. It would be, it's good defensive structure, and with that structure, there's very limited shots that will get to me. So the defense has really helped me out.
And with your team motto, I've talked to a few of the team yep. members so far about the sharks you wear and the own the ocean motto. How how does that what does that make you do during the game? How, how does that mindset work? Uh, it's just being fearless, going out there, going after it at all costs. Um, it's just it's our mindset that's going to get us to the national championship, and we're going to win. Thank you very much.